Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is an experiment for science. For those of you who've been following along with the Tribe content, you may have noticed an army of Mega Theorems in the background. I'm just going to take a second to go over their stats. They all got roughly 8 mutations in, carrying around 20,000 health and around 600 to 700 melee damage. The best saddle blueprint we found was in the Swamp Cave with an armor value of 54.3 and that's with all of our crafting skill pumped in to craft all of these saddles. That's the best that we could come up with. Now we initially was going to use a different type of creature in each of the boss battles but we didn't think that the Mega Theorems would quite make it at the time so we used Thenos instead on that fight. But we're going to continue now and see if this army would have been good enough. Now one of the creatures here has only 10,000 health and 600 melee damage, but the rest of them are all around the same. So without further ado, let's jump into this boss fight. Hello, Rick's in his lab making cyborgs and wormholes and all that weird stuff, but this is real science. Now for this battle as well, we will be using a Uteranus. Its Courage Raw will increase the output damage of each of the Mega Theorem. And of course, the advantage of using the Mega Theorem is when they kill the minions from the Broodmother, they go into an enraged state, as you'll see here. So comments down below, do you think these Mega Theorems are going to be powerful enough to defeat the Alpha Broodmother? These are the official settings as well. So this experiment if you've got the same numbers, you're going to come out with roughly the same results here. Now, as you can see, we've got Courage Raw and the Enraged buff on each one of these creatures. And there goes the first Mega Theorem. Now, Mega Toxin was the only other creature that had roughly 10,000 health and around 600 melee damage. So the rest of them all have around the same health as my creature. Now, while I'm at it, I think it's fair to mention, I do get the odd question about why I don't put the damage numbers up on my complete series, and I always try to make that one a little bit more cinematic. It takes a long time to do the complete arc stuff, and with all of the damage numbers come up, it kind of takes it out of the cinematic experience. But for this experiment for science, it, it does help to see what damage numbers were output in here especially if you're thinking about taking on the Alpha Broodmother yourself. Now before we went into this fight, so that's number two, three and four down. And before we went into this fight, we were pretty certain that it was going to be a close call. So we are now four Mega Theorems down. But over the halfway mark, so do you think this army is going to be capable of bringing the Brood Bother down? Like I say, once again, we did intend to show you how to beat each of the island's creatures with something different. And it really come down to the saddle blueprint as to why we didn't use the Mega Theorems. The Ramshackle one, as you can see, is we've already lost four of our creatures isn't quite good enough. And there goes our fifth Mega Theorem. Alpha Killer 2. Wasn't quite an Alpha Killer. And there we go, that's number six. So there we go. We lost six Mega Theorems with that particular saddle, but yet we can defeat the Alpha Broodmother with it. A slightly better saddle and a few more mutations, and I'm sure it would have been done. But yeah, that answers the question for science. And certainly, if you've got a decent saddle, Mega Theorems are certainly a great option to defeat the Alpha Broodmother on. As you can see, I didn't take too much damage there, but of course, I stayed at the back of the brood mother and being that I've imprinted this particular creature I also get the 30% reduction in damage 
But that about answers the question for science. Were our megatheriums good enough to defeat the alpha broodmother on the island map? And of course, the answer is yes. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.